In the environment tab, we're going to set up what our shooting condition, altitude, temperature, and uh, if, if we have the input capability, we can even use station pressure. Uh, generally, I like to leave my humidity at 50%. It's not an easy figure to measure. Most handheld devices don't measure that. Uh, if you do your calculations for yourself, you'll realize that the uh, humidity has a pretty small effect on your, on your bullet's drop. So we can set up and put our altitude in here. At the Gunworks range, we're running about 4,500 feet elevation. And then uh, you'll notice that it changes the temperature and station pressure to equal the standard conditions at that altitude. Let's say we're shooting in the summertime and it's 75 degrees. Now notice that doesn't change the station, pre station pressure. So we're dialed in for the equivalent station pressure for 4,500 feet, but we do have a temperature of 75 degrees. Now station pressure is the pressure that you measure out of a little handheld device. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's not corrected to sea level. So that, that's the input that we have here. Let's say we do have like a 26.5 26.5 inches of mercury, that would be a more specific input than just an altitude. But for, for our situation, I'm going to like to run um, 4,500 and just let it calculate the standard station pressure at that altitude. Okay, using a bullet drop compensator is a, another unique feature that we have here. Uh, Almost all of the shooting systems that we make at Gunworks and the scopes that we've uh, configured at G7 are designed to be used with a bullet drop compensator. And that means that the turret is configured for a specific ballistic coefficient, uh, muzzle velocity, and then altitude and temperature. Now, when you're out in the field, that altitude and temperature may not match the conditions that you actually experience. So in this uh, BDC altitude, that's the one that the turret is built for. And let's do 7,030 degrees. Now that's going to be useful when we go to our fire tab and calculate our equivalent range. Here are the inputs that we can make for our environment. 